After target setting, the next step in our process is something we call the arrow of the concepts. So this is where we try to come up with creative solutions, really big changes rather than doing detailed optimization. We're trying to do this to make sure that we explore all the potential performance um, that we can find and not worry about production feasibility and let that limit us. CFD is our tool of choice for evaluating these early concept ideas. Like Ben said, it allows us to test big changes early in the program and understand impacts on the flow field. We use this to narrow down key areas to focus on based on the targets that we set. In the example image, one of the first things that we studied on the C8R development was the cooling architecture. Before we had anything designed in the car, before we had even designed a roll cage or any chassis structure, we evaluated this in CFD because at that point we weren't committed to any major designs. The goal was to understand the trade-off of sending the radiator exit flow over the center of the car like we did on C7 versus splitting around the side and even exiting out the door to protect the rear wing. We were able to find an efficiency gain by doing this and you can see in the center image on this slide the final configuration we came with was a hybrid of options one and two in the images on the right. So this is a great example of the trade-offs of downforce and drag aero efficiency versus thermal performance and making sure we hit both of those targets. So CFD allows us to clearly visualize the flow field and understand complex interactions early in the program. We feed our CFD tools with parametric CAD models. We call these aero surface generators. They're parametric so we can quickly adjust the shape and develop many options in a short amount of time. Those generators are linked and traceable throughout our entire process. So if a concept works well in CFD, we can further evolve that generator to make parts for the wind tunnel and test later in the process. Another very important part that we consider early in the program is the styling. Ultimately, styling sells cars. It's important, and we don't hide from that. We prefer to be proactive rather than reactive when it comes to styling. This means collaborating with customer styling departments. Instead of reporting how bad a shape is, we like to answer the question, how good could it be?